This is an organelle. But what is an organelle? Well, right now it's playing a patch or a program that transforms it into a rhythmicon, a rhythmic instrument invented in 1931 by Leon Thurman and Henry Cowell. But it can actually be quite a few other things. For example, load up a different patch and it becomes a sampler. Every key here plays the sample a little bit differently and you can use it to sample or upload samples to it. Many of the patches have multiple features, like a sequencer, for example. You can also process audio. It can also be a vocoder. This proves that I can't say. Or a granular freezer. So uh, I took a bit of this track. And what a granular synth does is let you play with portions, small portions, bite size uh, samples of music and get the feel and the aura of it, uh, but mess around with it in real time. And this is a frozen moment, but you can also apply this uh, in real time as well. Now, I'll go through some more patches in a bit, and the patches are great, but I think there's even a bigger story behind the organelle, because it's an instrument that's designed not to be one thing. It's designed for people to take the patches that are there, open them up, bring in their own stuff, and create brand new things. So before we look at how that gets accomplished, let's look at the hardware. Uh, pretty straightforward. This is a volume knob. The next one over is your menu and selection knob. It uh, activates the menu when you touch it. So if you release it, it goes back to the patch. And if you touch it, you can uh, scroll through. Uh, initially, there are some settings. Um, and then just the list of patches. There are quite a few, as you can see, that come with the organelle. Uh, and I've added a few more at the bottom of the list. Uh, I've started them with Z in the beginning just so that they'll be sorted alphabetically at the bottom. So you'll see you get quite a few patches uh, built in with the device. The maple keys on the bottom let you play notes or samples depending on the patch. This button's function varies depending on the patch, as do these four knobs. Uh, they'll change parameters on the patch based on what you see on the screen. The functions of the knobs and the auxiliary button can be completely different based on the patch you're playing. Patches are built in pure data. Pure data is a visual programming language designed for creating musical instruments. I'll talk about that uh, later, Visual means that it's a little bit easier than writing lines of code, but there is a learning curve to it. The thing is, you don't need to worry about that because there are plenty of patches available and new ones released, I think, almost every week. Um, but if you do want to dig in uh, and learn about it, then you can, and you can create your own patches for the organelle. Let's complete the hardware tour on the back. Stereo headphone out and two quarter-inch mono jacks outputs quarter inch stereo input and a foot switch jack, HDMI out for connecting a screen, an SD card for the internal memory, and you'll be able to put patches on this too, power, nine volt, and then two USB ports for uh, connecting uh, a patch storage USB drive, keyboard, Wi-Fi, you can also add a hub and connect more things through this. And staring at us all this time is the screen, which is very nicely visible in bright light. So that's pretty much it on the outside. The case is aluminum. Um, on the inside is a powerful processor. So basically it's a computer that's designed for music that runs on open source, pure data. So who cares? Well, let me explain why I think this is crucially important for this device and for music making in general. And I'll do this by demonstrating one of the new features of Organelle 3.0, which is Wi-Fi support, which makes it easier to sync with other devices using Ableton Link. So this patch is based on the Grids module by Olivier Gillet, which he very kindly opened up as open source. And as far as I was able to track down, this was later on converted to Max by a person called Henry David, and later on converted to Pure Data by Sylviane Poitras, and please forgive me if I messed up your name. 
and then wireless tempo sync, whether it's changes on the organelle or on the iPhone, was added by Mark Harris, which is uh, a huge contributor uh, to organelle on a number of other uh, patches, not to mention the operating system itself. I'm sure there are plenty of other people that I missed out here, like Miller Paquette, who invented pure data. So I think you're starting to see the, the big picture. The beauty of open source is that individual contributors can make a huge impact where one person stands on the shoulders of another and reaches new heights. So a good way to tell if the organelle is for you or not is to take a look at the patches on their site. They have nice audio previews for the patches. If you're not planning on building your own patches, this is a good way to see if what exists today is right for you. What's really impressive as you scroll down the list is just how frequently uh, these patches are released. Seems like uh, every week or so you get one or two new patches, which is a lot of fun. This list is all the patches released by the company that makes the organelle. And you can check out the organelle section on patchstorage.com for patches made by other people. So these previews are very helpful. Now with that said, let's look at what's new in version 3.0 of the organelle operating system. Now I'm making this clip late December 2017 because the OS is just out, but a lot of these features are future facing. There isn't a lot to show for it right now. So uh, subscribe and stay tuned. I will be reviewing that stuff as it comes out. But for now, the, the exciting stuff that's future facing are the ability to show graphics, not just text on the OLED screen and the ability to support any type of patch, not just pure data. Like I said, stick around the channel. I'll be showing you some of this in the future. I already showed you how you can use Wi-Fi to sync uh, with Ableton Link. And a nice addition is the ability to manage patches using a web-based interface. You can't edit the patches remotely easily yet, but uh, you can log in, uh, change the file which contains your Wi-Fi password. That's how you can, because uh, you can't type a password on the interface itself. You can do that through here. You can view your patches. Uh, delete them, upload new ones. So a very straightforward and simple interface uh, means that you don't need to move, you know, unplug the USB stick, plug it in your computer, uh, transfer patches, move it back, and so on. So, with that said, I'll let this Mellotron patch segue us into what a pure data patch actually looks like. As you may remember, the uh, organelle has an HDMI out port, and here I am showing you a screen capture of what's coming out of that port on the top portion of the screen. Now, pure data is an odd name, but the way it really works is sort of like a diagram of how audio flows throughout a patch. The wireless keyboard and trackpad are connected via USB uh, to the organelle, and that's how I'm controlling the pointer on the screen. As I hit the keys on the organelle, imagine audio flowing through the lines being processed by this patch. If you're familiar with Eurorack, it's fairly similar. Each box has inputs and outputs for audio and modulation. Only I can scroll and load a new one without it getting me into debt or costing thousands of dollars. Let's try a different patch. I'll take uh, this patch. lets you uh, play MIDI files. About 20 MIDI files on your organelle can be linked to keys. So the minute I press a key, the MIDI file playback starts. Anyway, the nice thing about the way that this works is that unlike cables running through a Eurorack system, here you can see the numbers or values change as you play around with them, and it gives you a better understanding of what's going on. Now, this is by no means a pure data tutorial, and its I'm not trying to say that it's easy. Um, there are a few beginner tutorials on uh, Critter and Guitari's YouTube channel. That's the company that makes Organelle. So if you're interested in seeing um, how to get started, uh, check that out. The point here is just to show you what a patch looks like. Uh, this is the Stereo Rhythmicon patch that I showed you earlier. Here's what it looks like behind the scenes. If you do want to look into pure data programming, uh, there are generic tutorials out there as well, and you can download pure data onto your computer uh, and try it out, build a few basic patches, see if this thing is for you, because there is definitely a learning curve. So what's the bottom line with organelle? I think the value of an instrument, at least for me, is that it changes the way that I think about creating music. And I think organelle does this with almost every patch. Take this one, for example. 
which almost encourages you to place samples on a timeline in non-traditional subdivisions. Almost every new patch here is a new world waiting to be discovered, and gradually adding Ableton Link support to them means it'll play well with others. And because it's based on open source, it means that someone, or maybe you, can create something completely new, and next week, Organelle will be something else. So yeah, it's pretty cool. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Slap a like if you liked it. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.